Hey there, what's happening? This is Eric and Victoria. And we are coming at you live from our home office in beautiful Marietta, Georgia. And we wanted to shoot this quick video Friday evening. Uh, give everybody a shout out. Uh, hope everybody's having a great evening. Uh, but we wanted to talk about your network marketing business and what's the number one asset you need to have for your network marketing business if you're going to bring sales and grow your business. Well, of course, it's people. You have to have people to talk to, right? you got to have people, live, breathing people. You know, the right 98 point, what is it, 98.6 degree body temperature, right? Mm -hmm. you gotta, you got to have real live people to talk to. Right. Now, here's the problem. When you're a network marketing leader and you're trying to build a team, one of the biggest problems is the average person is... Would you say the average person is an extrovert or an introvert? Ooh. Especially when it comes to talking to strangers. You see, what we do traditionally in network marketing is um, you bring someone in your business and you say, make a list of 50 people that you know or your, your family members, your friends, your family members. Make a list of 50 to 100 people, right? And so, you know, what happens is... They, they start calling up those people on their list because they're being pressured by the upline to do that, even though we're talking about people who are typically introverted, right? So that phone weighs about 800 pounds. Or more. Or more, right? But with the help of their upline, they may be able to call those people. Or maybe their upline is waiting to be pulled into a three-way call, that type of thing. But what happens is they go through that list. They actually may burn through that list. And the list may not have anybody on it but family. <laughs> yeah, and then that list may start shrinking. Especially <laughs> if that family you've already <laughs> called on for other things you've done. Well, you know, we're talking about things that we've experienced ourselves Personally. as network marketers. We've had family members literally run from us at the family reunion because, you know what, we were chasing them down and they knew exactly what we wanted to talk to them about. We wanted to talk to them about our network marketing business. And finally, those people started disappearing. The friends, the family, the, you know what, the thing that's so ironic is the people we cared most about in our lives, we were chasing them down and trying to twist their arms to get them into a business. And then, wow. and then the thing that made it worse is we went from one business to another business to another business. So they expected that when we were going to contact them, they expected that we were going to talk about our business. So what did they do? When we call, they wouldn't return the call. When we see them, see, they try to hide. Too. We've been through the same we, thing. We've, we've been, been through it. We've been through it. Yeah. And then you get to that territory called NFL. No friends left. Oh my gosh. Everybody eventually hits that brick wall. You might say, oh, that's not me. Yeah, just wait. So your number one asset when you're trying to build your business is people to talk to. But what happens? You burn through that list. Your friends, your family, they're hiding from you because they know good and well you're going to talk about your business and you're going to turn them away. So then what do you do? What do you do? Because the number one thing you need to build your business is people. That's right. And so ultimately what you need is leads. You need leads. You need yep. people who are interested in what you have to offer. They are willing to listen to you. Now the problem is, as network marketers, we've been told, you know, you first thing you do is put together that list of your top 50 to 100 friends and family, right? Come on, I know you've been told that. <laughs> but, but then when you burn through that list, then what they say is, now what you need to do is follow the three-foot rule. Mm -hmm. So you need to go out there in public, and you need to, everybody you see, you need to talk to them about your business. Right? You need to catch people in the Starbucks. You need to catch people in the malls. You need to catch people on the street. And if they come within three feet, you need to pounce on them got to and be. talk about your business. Yeah. Now, here's the problem. Huge problem. Do you think the average person 
is an introvert or an extrovert? Do you think the average person would feel comfortable going out there and talking to strangers about their business, especially when they're new to the business? Think about it. Do you really Realistically? Think, some people rather be hit by a train. Yeah, I mean, I mean, I mean, come on, let's be real. I mean, when studies are done on the number one fear of people, the number one fear is public speaking. Yeah, That's is. the number one fear. Some people would rather jump out of a building from the fourth floor than to actually talk to a stranger, but especially talk about a business. That's oh right. my goodness. So you have a situation where you're basically set up to fail. It's horrible, but that's the way it's been done for the last 50 years. Or more. That's the 20th century approach to network marketing. I love the 21st century, because now Eric and I can go and have a romantic dinner, see family and friends, and not pounce on them. Oh. I look at them as, it's, it's amazing now that we're in online marketing and we build our business with online techniques. Even if you're network marketing, the online techniques are phenomenal. Because now, for the first time, it's like going out in the forest and seeing mountains and water and birds. And seeing it and smelling fresh air like you've never smelled it before. For the first time, I'm like, wow, this is what it feels like not to look at a person like, I think I'll talk to this person. What about that person? Oh, the waitress here. Oh, this person here. Oh, this person. Even on vacation. Everybody you talk to, you don't see them as a human being. You see them as a prospect. A Pretty sad existence. And, I mean, and, and there's times when you might meet some good prospects like that. That's not the point I'm making. I'm not saying totally stop. I'm just let's saying now I don't have to do that only. I have diversity. I have another way of getting leads. Yeah, it's all about being in the moment. Yeah. Let's say, for example, you're on vacation like we were. <laughs> we were on vacation in the Caribbean. And we would make friends with people who were also on vacation. And then we'd start talking to them about our business. Oh, my God. That's, it's so embarrassing now when I think about it. Yeah, I, I am. I get embarrassed when I think about it. I too. mean, we couldn't really enjoy ourselves. No matter where we went. No matter what we were doing, we were programmed, baby. We felt that pressure That's right. to talk about that business. So when we were on vacation, we weren't really on vacation. Even on the cruise ship, you were contacted. Even on our cruise ship. And you know, the, the irony of it is we used to say our work looks like other people's vacations, right? Ha. But the irony is it was actually the opposite. Our vacations look like other people's work. Because we were constantly working on our vacations. Now, you may be wondering, like us, you may be wondering, well, yeah, this kind of sounds like the situation when you're doing traditional approaches to network marketing. But now, what do you do? Well, <laughs> one of the blessings is that we are now in the 21st century. Woo! We're, we've, we've gone from... We've gone from the industrial revolution from the agrarian society and then from the industrial revolution we went to the information age and now we are moving into another age and I think that another that additional age that new age is probably going to get a name like the artificial intelligence age it's going to be something like that it's going to have something to do with robotics and artificial intelligence and believe me if you think there's a way to stop it forget about it because everybody in the world is looking into artificial intelligence and you could either be washed away by the flood or you can take advantage of it you can learn how to surf on artificial intelligence wave and become a 21st century closer because that's what we're all about. We're all about always be closing. Always be closing. But let the automation handle the parts that should be handled. We believe in establishing strong contacts, quality, excellent contacts with individuals. But we don't need to talk to one individual at a time. You can talk to several. We can talk to thousands at a time. Now we're not saying automate your relationships for your business. We still believe in picking up that phone. We still believe in communicating with people 
on Facebook. We still believe in relationships. That hasn't changed. We still believe in relating to people, talking to people in the messenger, still communicating. I never said, don't get it twisted, stop communicating. But what we did say, up to that point, let's automate it. There's things that are people are doing that if they had it automated, they could spend more time on their relationships. That's right. That's right. Yeah. You can Because what, what happens is, instead of doing the drudgery work, you can actually focus on the quality contacts, the quality communications, right. the communications that you really need to focus on. And to be honest, we've had, we've made sales without even talking to individuals. They had already signed up and we <laughs> they, had never even spoken they to were, them. They, they were already business partners. They were already customers. And then we contacted them after, after they made the sale. Yeah. That is one of the advantages yeah. of being online and leveraging the internet. But you cannot do that leveraging. if you're zigzagging all over the place and you have to talk to everybody. I mean, it, it's it's almost to the point it's not realistic in the 21st century. No, it's, not. it's getting more difficult. I hear network marketers doing that, and I'm like, you're limiting yourself. You're limiting yourself. You really are. You, 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 you are, and you're missing a tremendous opportunity. Now, I will say this. Eventually, everybody's going to be doing it. And you're going to be behind and, and you, you, you but, been learning but, it. But the early adapters, they're the ones that are going to have the biggest advantage. Yeah. The people that get in there now and, and learn start it. utilizing the technology, you're the ones that are going to get the hugest profits. It's the way it always works. The early adapters make the hugest profits. And the people that spend the time learning, because there's, there's, there's knowledge in that. I mean, it's just to me, it's just logical. You need to. You're going to eventually have to learn something, even if you don't go all in something about it because you're going to have people on your team that are going to participate and you want to always stay ahead of your team as a leader but also too you're going to have to learn to put forth mentoring and getting training mm -hmm. you know i had a guy call me eric once and it was actually i'm quite embarrassed he was a well-known networker and he called and said victoria victoria i found a way that i can do online for free and i'm like this is a top network marketer now what if someone came to him and said Guess what? I can do network marketing and I never have to go to a meeting and I can just do everything for free. He would probably say, what a loser. He probably, he probably would have. And I know as a leader, he wouldn't have spent any time with him. Right. So if you're looking for something free, you're looking with the welfare mentality, you get what you sow. Yep. If you sow nothing, you, you, you sow. get nothing. Yep. People Absolutely. that are looking for freebies, you never, I have never seen anybody make any money in any kind of business, whether it's network marketing online, that thinks they're going to do it for free. Yep. Because you reap what you sow. You reap what you sow. What you get is what you put into it. Yep. So if you're going the welfare mentality, nine times out of ten, come back to me in a year, you're probably going to recruit people that <laughs> have the loser mentality too. Yeah. You can a whole e leg of losers. You can either spend your time or you can spend your money. That's uh, right. But the thing is about the time is you can't get it. <laughs> You once, you, once you spend it, it's spent. And there are a lot of people that are going to be spending years and years stuck on free and never achieve their goals. And let me, let me, let me say what I, what I mean by that. I didn't say anybody was a loser because God makes no mistakes. But a loser, poverty, welfare mentality of thinking you can get around the system and you don't have to spend any money and you can just become a successful networker without putting a dime in. No, even even top of the line um, online markers would tell you, even if you try to do free ads, it's still not the same as ads you pay. It's, not, it's apples to oranges. It's not going to be on the same level. It's all about being a professional. Yeah. And so... You get what you put in. You get you what, what you, you put sell. in. You reap what Karma, you sell. Karma, baby. <laughs> but at any rate, guys, we just wanted to touch on this topic tonight. We're going to be expanding on it, definitely, yeah. uh, because we're all about being... 21st century closers. That's, That's right. what it's all about. And taking advantage, leveraging the technology, 
If, by the way, what we're saying resonates with you, if you find value in it and you'd like additional information, just type info in the comments below. We will definitely get right back to you, but we're going to be here every, uh, especially every weeknight. We're going to be here and we're going to share what we've learned because this industry is changing extremely rapidly. Rapid. Just like all industry, all across the United States and across the world, we're going into a major major Woo! technological wave and you want to be aware of what's going on you don't want to lose out mm -hmm. and so with that hope you guys are having a great friday evening if not let's make it a great one excellence always prevails with action back behind it